If you're considering CMH lighting options for your cannabis production, this video should prove helpful in providing you with some explanations so you better understand ceramic metal halide lights. Welcome to this Tobacco University video. We're going to go over CMH lighting options for right a greater understanding of these. So first off, they've increased in popularity. So the use of ceramic metal halide lights, or CMH, in light-emitting ceramics, LEC, uh, grow lights are increasing in usage in both commercial and hobby grower settings. These lights are typically 10% or greater energy efficient and provide the same power or watts as traditional metal halides or high-pressure sodium grow lights with less heat. These are part of the reasons why they're increased in popularity, not only the spectrum they produced, but the quality of lights and that they're able to have, and the options growers have for bulbs. Now, the spectrum and wattages. So the spectrum that they're producing is um, quite advantageous. So both of these lights emit traditional PAR measured spectrum in addition to infrared and also UV spectrums. This full spectrum can make a visual plant diagnosis easier for growers due to their high color rendering index, or CRI. The most common CMH grow lights are the 315 watt grow lights and the 630 watt grow lights. Now I mentioned this color rendering index. Here we see an apple, this would be kind of 100% in true color rendering, and we could see as we decrease that how it starts to look a little off, a little not quite as red, not quite as great contrast. This is very important for growers that are looking at diagnosing or catching problems early, a higher CRI will make it much easier to spot potential problems earlier when it's easier to correct them. Now, as I mentioned, those 315 and those 630 watt options are commonly used. Their recommended coverage area for each is as follows. For a 315, you're looking at a 4 by 4 veg room or 3 by 3 in a flower room. If you're using the larger kind of dual bulb 630 watt, it would be a 5x5 five five veg room coverage area or a 4x4 four four flower room coverage area. Now the CMH bulbs, so quality CMH bulbs will last for about 20,000 hours and still retain about 80% or more of their initial um, output. In addition, more specific spectrum options are being offered by manufacturers simply due to the increase in popularity of the ballast to allow growers to simply change bulbs and not necessarily the fixtures as their plants progress through the growing cycle. And again, I'm not sponsored by them, but these Philips uh, Master Color bulbs, uh, highly regarded, you pay for them. They are tend to be on the more expensive side, but definitely well worth it if you're looking at the ultimate CMH bulb. Now CMH for cannabis in specific compounds. So some bulbs available will have increase in the UV light or far red spectrums, which can help increase the production of certain compounds to help boost the overall quality and final cannabis product. These bulbs can be used at the very end of the growth cycle to maximize plant productivity. If you're really looking at maximizing your potential harvest or particular compounds produced, these may be worth investigating and utilizing as part of your, in your CMH ballast to help make sure your yield and your quality is as high as possible. 